What's going on, everybody? Here, welcome back to Astro Colony. So today, we're gonna progress. We're gonna do some more things. We're gonna do some more stuff, and um, I'm going to try. We're gonna see if we can't move the station. But I think that it might take a little bit more effort than what what I'm thinking. So I think that might be. Hopefully, towards the end of the video, we can start moving the station. Um, now, another thing I want to address: Astro Colony. I want to address the beta key and all that stuff because uh, I'm, I'm starting to get some info, like people are asking me about it. So. Um, one, the beta key, to get access to the beta key right now, you actually have to pay for the beta key access. And it is a separate, like, charge thing. I think it's like 10 US dollars. It's like 10 bucks, and you get access to the beta. But that does not include the full game when it comes out. So when the full game comes out, you will then have to pay extra for that. Now, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of that model. However, I like the game, so that's why I kind of wanted to just let people make their own choice. If you're watching this video, make your own decision on it. If you want to do that, cool. If you don't want to do that and you're not okay with it, that's all right. I get it either way. But that's kind of why I was uh, not necessarily explaining how people were getting access to it. I was like, hey, just go to their Discord and ask them. So that's how you're getting access to this if you want to play it, just so you know. Okay, now <laughs> let's get into the video, shall we? So I think what we're going to do... I want to get this. I really want to get the auto asteroid catching, um, and then I want to get some more automation stuff. Now, in order to make that happen, we're going to need construction because we need these iron rods, which require points. And then we need to either unlock mining or robotics. But I'm not sure. I feel like these are going to go hand in hand because it's going to give a mining drone, but then like the robot assembler to make the drone, that's probably what we're going to need. So. I'm thinking that we're going to have to hit like the cheapest route possible to get to this. Cause this is what I want. I want to get this and I want to get the splitter. And then I want to get a whole bunch of automation stuff because if we can auto catch asteroids, I don't have to go in here every few, uh, every few minutes or whatever, a few seconds and try to like re update this. Like they'll just automatically just start catching asteroids, you know, and then that's going to give us uh that's going to increase our production by quite a bit. And we're going to be able to do things without having to worry about uh, running out of resources as much, hopefully, if that makes sense. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do enjoy the video, please leave a like on the video. It does help out a lot. Subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. And if you want to catch up and you want to be social in other places, I have links down below to everything. Discord, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. We have all of the things. So um, yeah, okay. So let's go ahead and let's get construction. I know we need that. And then let's see, what's the cost here? Four and four or three and six. So let's do the four and four. Now I want four more and five more. So let's go ahead and let's get, um, let's get these two. Oh shoot. I have to have this one now too. We have the auto assembler, which is good, but then the iron rod that's going to be built in the constructor. Okay. So let's get a constructor built. Um, and let's kind of see what we need here. Wait, did we, un did we didn't actually unlock we didn't actually unlock that yet. So we need four more of those points. Uh, let's go ahead and grab all of these. And then in here, let's go ahead and let's just do a, uh, a split of 10 of these. See how much more resources we already have. So let's go ahead and split those 10, throw those in here. And then split these 10 and throw these in here. Perfect. Okay, so those are going to go ahead. We're going to make some more points there. Uh, but the, that's the reason I want the automated uh, ones of these is that way then we don't have to really worry about it. And we're just going to have like all of the resources. This, oh, it's going to be so nice. It's going to be so nice. And now I'm hoping they don't pull too much power. But that's also why I want the splitter. I want to be able to split the carbon out between multiples of these guys right here. Um, and then actually, I think there is eventually other power uh solar energy yeah so that would be a huge thing too but that uses golden wire so we'd have to hit robotics which we're gonna have to hit anyways to get this then we'd have to hit manufacturing and then we'd have to hit solar energy so and then advanced smelting stuff like that so yeah let's let's start off by getting our automatic stuff just to start with okay so we have enough for the auto asteroid catching but now we have to get the constructor going because we need the um we need those uh, those iron pipe things. So where is the auto asteroid catcher at? I don't even see it on here. Unless we go to this one and then... Asteroid catcher. Wait, it doesn't just unlock it, does it? 
Is there like an upgrade option for this? Catch asteroids, leave, modify. Consumption, outcome recipe depends on the asteroid. So how do we get... Oh, construction, device. Oh, I didn't even know this menu existed. Uh, utilities, mining, here we go. Auto asteroid catcher, and then a miner to extract resources from planets. Okay, so I want that, but we need a constructor. So let's get that. Oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Uh, input there. Input outputs there. Wow, this thing is like a monster. Okay, so let's do this. Let's just get that set down for now. How much power does this thing use? Two. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, but I want locked. Oh, I need iron rods. Can I make iron rods by hand? Is that a handcraftable thing? No. Constructor. Where? Oh, iron rod or aluminum rod. Iron rod, aluminum rod to iron rod. Okay. Iron plate and carbon. Let's turn that on and let's go get um, some aluminum plates. Actually, I think I have some in here. Let's go ahead and split the stack. Let's do 20. And then carbon. Let's go do carbon. Okay, so that'll get that going. Oh, I think we're already getting... I think we're getting closer than we uh, even realize here. Uh, but yeah, I think we need more of these things. I think we need quite a bit more. So I want to get... I want to get in... I want to be in a better situation here collecting stuff. So that way we can do all this other stuff. You know what I'm saying? I've got eight iron rods. So now if we hit K and we bring up this menu here, mining... This guy. Is this exactly the same? It is. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's delete that one. Let's go ahead and delete that one. And then let's get our automated ones in here. So one there. And then one there. Oh my gosh. We've got automation. Uh, Now these take... Oh, they only take one power. Oh my gosh. That is super nice. We've already got automation going. Look at that. They're already just pulling in asteroids as we go. Oh, we need more of them. We need more of them. We need to collect all of the asteroids possible. Okay, that's that's the goal. <laughs> that's our goal. Let's get more of those. And then we also need to get our splitter. So that way we can get uh, more power. Because I think our power is not great. Kind of wish there was another crap. Like, an, is there is there like another? Am I missing a power generation source? So let's see. Utilities. No, it looks like solar is the next thing. Nuclear reactor and then electric battery. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. Yeah, we need we need a couple more of these bad boys. Oh, you know what? We actually have our recycler. We could probably recycle. Uh three of those that that and that okay i have the stuff for two more <laughs> yes i am so excited about this now you know this might actually not be the optimal placement of these it might be better to place like one on each corner kind of like out here like one here there there and there um uh, but i'm gonna say for now i think we'll be okay because we got so many asteroids like floating around not getting like sucked up anyways that we'll just deal with this for now and then if we want to we can completely redesign stuff later not super worried about it um, okay, so mining, auto miner, let's go ahead, oh, I meant to hit rotate, okay, so we want this one, how did we have these spaced, pretty sure we had one like that, and then we had one, I think it'll go like this, perfect, okay, and then let's go ahead and get these things wired up. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, and yes. All right. We need now to get these basically all going to this part right over here. So 
bunch of outputs are needed. All right, now with this one, we should get this side hooked up. So that should, oh, hold on, let's go ahead and rotate that around. Okay, so that should all go into there, and that should all go into there. Okay, so that's going onto the main line there. Perfect. And then all we need to do is basically get this one going in right here. So I only need two more, actually. Do I have the stuff for that? Like that. And then that should be where, oh my gosh. Okay, we've got four auto things, auto asteroid collectors going. Holy moly, we've got some serious automation now because these should run and I'm hoping that these will run enough to to uh, keep this guy nice and filled up. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Like, look at all the asteroids just being, oh, just being collected up. They're just, they're just so excited about it. Mass asteroid collection. Ha ha ha! Oh, look at our belts. Nice and full right now. They're full right now because like they had inventory space as well. I was talking about the belts, but still like, oh, looks so good. Things are actually happening. So I was just letting this run for a little bit, making sure everything is looking good. It looks it looks good. It looks good. I feel like I feel like everything's gonna be good. Um I'm just a little bit worried about carbon though. Like I feel like we're not I mean, okay, there's a carbon one in there, in there, in there. So we should be good. I am a little bit worried about power though. So I kind of want to, I'd like to get the solar panels going as, as soon as I could too. Okay. So now what we need, we need to go ahead and get, I want to get the splitter, but I'd also, I'd like to get robotics manufacturing and solar energy. And I'd like to get some solar energy going because I think that'll help with our energy demand. And then I'm thinking on focusing on movement, on getting docking station systems connect space colony planets to each other it is required for astronauts arrival oh that's exciting human migration to satisfy the need for rest of astronauts a hibernation chamber call astronauts is a function oh my gosh <laughs> i feel like we have some like infrastructure to do before we get to that point you know uh oh foundations to create and extend the surface of the colony gears yeah i want to get this solar going uh vertical construction oh ladder carbon stairs metal stairs a hangar must be for some kind of vehiculars transport tubes things like that okay so i've got enough points let's go ahead and hit up uh robotics and then we need what five there nine oh my gosh and like 25 oh i'm not gonna have enough basic science points to get this done I have to go out and hand mine some stuff. Okay, let's just get um let's just get some science going here. Alright, we're gonna just drop off. I guess let's just drop off. Let's just drop off all of our iron and copper. We'll let that all turn to science points, and then I'm gonna go out and hand mine stuff. So that way hopefully I can get some points. Now we do get points for building. Which I mean we could just we could start working on extending like you know our power lines and stuff like that out. We could start working on, oh, I never got my, did we ever get, no, we didn't get the, the splitter yet. Okay. That's what we're going to try to get next. And then manufacturing and then solar energy. Oh my gosh. Robots will automate your space station. Construct a robots assembler now. Huh? What do robots do? Robot assembled to build robots in order to automate production processes. I wonder what they would do. I feel like the robots are what we need in order to like build to, to mine stuff. No, maybe. I don't know. Okay. I have enough for the automation for the base warehouse. You can store your resources here and use them directly when constructing. Oh, so I don't have to have them in my inventory anymore. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Okay. So let's go ahead and unlock that to split specific resources on conveyor belts or transport tubes. So now I wanted to split the carbon so we could get another one of these guys. Oh yeah. Look at that. We're at 25 now. Heck yes. So let's see here. If I want another one of these, 
Need some iron bars. Oh yeah, see this isn't gonna let me place it because there's no um there's no plates right here, darn. I mean I could slide this over one. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's slide it over one. I'm actually gonna go ahead and uh delete that. I'm gonna pull all this out of here, and then we're gonna delete this guy. Then we're gonna build two. One there, one there. All right, so now we need to run our belts a little bit different here. So let me just go ahead and pull these belts up and let me get this figured out here. So we need a splitter here. Let's actually, let me look at a splitter first. So I need to split between this one and this one. And then I need to push into this so that we will split it. So then we're going to need a pusher here. And then that is going to push carbon. And then we need a belt going from right there. Actually, this will probably work if we do that, that, and that. And there, and there. There, and there, and then this one, there, and there. And then that should... should work splitting ratio is work in progress okay so let's see so one went there let's see where these other ones start going to it's not splitting huh Okay, so maybe it has to be different. Maybe we need to push this one this way, this way, and then that way. Maybe I need to put, you know what? I probably need to put the splitter on top of it. That's probably where I messed up. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, I put the splitter down first, and that was the issue. And I bet you if I... And now it's trying to split three ways. There we go. Okay, so you gotta put your... You gotta put the block on the thing itself first there we go okay that makes sense i don't know why i did it that way i'm a dummy <laughs> i'm a dummy okay so that works um did anything get over here no okay good i want to make sure no carbon got through over there oh very nice and these guys are probably going to stay topped off like super easy oh yeah look at that one has 48 in it right now because everything was going in there Base warehouse is a unique storage container extending your inventory and letting you use items directly for your construction. Yeah, we need to get that going too. So basically, all of the outputs of all these machines could go into the base storage. So like this could go into a base warehouse. This could go into a base warehouse. Um, uh, actually, how big is the where the warehouse? Let's let's check this out. Uh, where is it? Probably device. So we need some iron tubing and is that is that copper plating i think it's copper plate okay so we need some copper plate and so we need some iron tubing and then for iron tubing we need carbon and these guys so let me throw these in here and then let me go grab some carbon We'll go ahead and split this stack out of here.
So now it's going to be making those as well. Okay, cool. But then we need to get this guy online too. I don't like where I put this. Why did I put this here? Why did I set that there, you know? So the warehouse is, we need four plates, four carbon plates for the, or four copper plates. So let's go ahead and get four copper plates in there. Two, three, and four. I didn't realize you could just click and it would go over there. Um, that's super nice. Oh, actually we only need two cause that'll give us that, but we need power. And I don't have hardly any wire right now. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of wire. So, you know, I'm actually kind of curious. I don't know if this is actually a functionality or not. If I go into here. It, okay, it just makes them. I was kind of, it, it would be nice. But I, I can understand that maybe it's like an upgrade thing. If you could say like, oh, I want 50 iron bars in storage, 50, 50, 50, you know what I mean? So that way, and then once there's, it's like once your um, like network storage is at that point, it stops making them. And then those items could go on somewhere else. But I could see why maybe that's not a thing or maybe that's a future thing or maybe it is a thing and I just don't know how to do it. Uh, okay, let's get our wire hooked up here. I should have plenty of wire now. We've got to go, oh my gosh, we got to go like all the way to the other side of this machine. Huh. <laughs> Let's go up and over. Okay, so there's that. So now that's making these. And then I wanna get my warehouse hooked up here. So one warehouse, how big is this thing? Holy good gosh, it's huge. Uh, oh, it'll work perfectly right there. And then we could probably, probably get rid of this guy. And then we can go ahead and just get uh, some belts going directly. Ah, uh, I need more wires and more panels. Let me throw some, uh, let me throw some iron in here. Oh, well we can select, but then we can select this. I don't know if that does like an output or not. I don't know. Let's test it. We're gonna test this thing. I'm gonna go into here. We're gonna select this. Make those infinitely. Like, what if we do like, let's say like 15. Is it only going to make 15? Cause that's how it works in the hand thing too. Let me go grab the, uh, let me go grab these plates. I think it's only gonna make 15. I don't think it's going to make. Run that there and run those there. Okay, so those are all going to go into storage. How many items can go in here? Oh, quite a bit. Hasn't made any iron yet. Wait. Iron bar. 15. And I have 52... Total, is that why it's not? No, it's because there's no iron in here yet. We need to wait for a piece of iron to come in here. Actually there, okay. Yeah, see it's only gonna make, it's only gonna make an X amount, Never mind. All right, so we'll just let those make it infinitely basically, okay. We had to try, cause I wanted to see how that was gonna work. But now we've got iron over here um, so it'd be nice if we could get some wire and stuff like that being made as well. Does that get made in here? I don't think that can be made in here. It cannot. But we can get plates being made in here. Oh, we can get wire. Oh, wire can turn into electronic parts. Oh. So we need to send the output of this to our warehouse as well. Okay, so now if I put that there and that there... Now all of our resources go in here and we should be able to construct with all of them. So in theory, I should want to throw everything in here, right? Oh, and actually this thing needs to go in there too. This is nice. I like this. And then we can build with whatever's in there. Oh, this is nice. This is nice. Uh, you know, I don't really actually need this here. 
And I don't need that there either, because I can just directly go in and add stuff into the inventory here. So <laughs> let's go check our power situation. Let's make sure these guys are nice and powered up. Oh, yeah, 49, 58. Heck yes. Looks like our water's completely full. Should we go ahead and add more water containers, maybe? There we go. Look at that big, huge water tank now. Oh, it's almost like an aquarium. <gasps> Can we get in and swim? Oh, <laughs> we're probably a robot. We're probably not supposed to do that. So now I'm curious if I go into here and I click on this. No, so we can't add stuff to the inventory. So we are going to have to do that like manually if we want to do anything with this. Okay. How's our points looking here? So we've got the automation. We got that advanced smelting. Floor support. Oh, columns. Oh, look at that. We need to get some of this stuff. Um, I want to get these solar panels though. So let's hit that. And then 30 and 15. Oh, I need, I need to build more stuff. What's a manufacturer? Let's get a manufacturer going. Oh, we should also build the robot deal too and kind of see what that's about. Robots assembler and a manufacturer. What in tarnations does this thing even do? Just set that right here, right on this belt, so it's good. What do you do? Oh, you make wire. Okay, cool. Oh, but it takes plates. So it takes one plate and makes two wires. This takes... So one copper bar would be two plates. One copper bar would be two plates. Two plates would be four wire versus our one copper being three. So we'll get more out of converting this stuff into these okay so if we want to make a wire we need to convert it first into that and then bring it over here and put it in that okay so that's interesting as well and then did we have the robot assembly robot assembly okay so let's grab some iron and then let's go ahead and throw all of those in there that's gonna make more plates and then we should be able to make our robot assembler and then i don't know what robots are gonna do but we could find out all right robot assembler oh my gosh this thing is huge uh, output is right there. Okay, let's put that there. So what does this do? What is a, a transport bot? Three electronics part for a transport bot. What does a transport bot do? Transport bot is the only way to deliver good to devices without conveyor belts, like canteen. Oh, so there's items that don't have conveyor belt ports like okay so the kitchen probably doesn't have one. Oh, canteen place where astronauts can take food okay so that makes sense i don't really need robots yet though i feel like we're in the point where we need to make our way to another planet <laughs> or like make our way to a planet i should say to start with so we need to do that we need to make our way to a planet here we need to figure out how many thrusters we need and we need to roll we need to do it Okay, so let's get the stuff. Let's get some more engines. Um, I have been informed that possibly four on one side and four on the opposite side it sh should be enough. Maybe I should put all these together so we can control them all because I think we have to control them manually. Um, I don't know if autopilot's going to work for us right now. So maybe I should just have like one, two, three, four, like right here. Is that like centered though? Centered would be like right here. I guess it doesn't really matter though. Eh, it probably does. Okay, so I've got some wires laid out. We're going to go ahead and throw some thrusters on here and we're going to see what we can do with this. Uh, let's see, where are the thrusters? Right there, four. Okay, so we're going to put, where's the center-ish? Right here, kind of. So let's do one, two, three, four. And then let's grab our wire wire up all of those um these should be off for now i think okay so we've got those four now let's go get four over here they're not gonna be in the same place and i kind of don't like that but <laughs> i don't really have a choice right now i don't want to rebuild absolutely everything and uh to do this <laughs> so let's see let's get uh one that is the wrong way two three four can I adjust you? Perfect. Now let's go ahead and get our wire. 
through there and then let's go ahead and turn all these off so we know where we're going first and then we're going to try to get there okay so the spot we wanted to go to was this one i think that's where we want to go so let's go ahead and pin that now we should be able to see that so let's go ahead and let's turn all of these on we want to go up Autopilot keeps space station movement direction and maximizes thruster usage. So I'm not actually sure about that, but let's go ahead and let's do, uh, let's hit these all at hundred percent. Actually, maybe we should turn, let's turn autopilot on. Let's just see what happens here. Oh, it is on. Okay, so now if we do that, let's go to these ones to turn all these ones to down as well and see if that will give us... I want to go up, up. Okay, well, they're not on, so we're going to have to do this manually. Oh, you know what? I don't think I'm going to have enough power for all these. Three, six, nine, twelve. I don't think I'm gonna have enough power. What happens if we don't have enough power? Do things turn off? Oh my gosh, we're moving. Oh my gosh, we're actually moving. Okay, so if I hit X. Or do we say do we stay relative to the space station? So if I go out here. We're definitely moving. I can see it moving. Okay. Alright, we're doing the things. We're doing the things. We're doing the things. We are moving. So if I go to the map, can I see myself moving? Um Not really, but we are getting there. So how far away are we? 2.38? I think we're moving. We totally are. Oh my gosh, we are absolutely moving. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. They're like, no, 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 no. They're trying to suck up the asteroids, but they can't. Oh my gosh, we're moving. We've got moving people. Oh my gosh, 2.34. Ha <laughs> ha, we're on our way. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful. This is so exciting. We've got movement. Our station is on the roll. Now, um, according to the chats, because I was, I was popping in their Discord, chatting it up a little bit, um, eventually we'll get a station that these all connect to that we can control like the whole thing as a whole. And we won't have to go through and manually do all this uh, individually. So that'll be super nice. Um, I mean, we're cruising along pretty good. I feel like we're cruising along pretty good. I don't know. What do you guys think? Um, but that's actually going to end this episode. Next episode, we're going to hit land. We're going to hit a planetoid. And we're going to see what we can do with that. I am excited to check that out. Hopefully, you guys want to stick around and you want to see that too. If you do, make sure you leave a like on the video. Please comment down below. Let me know what you're thinking of the game so far. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm just I'm curious to see what people are thinking. I, I think people are enjoying it. I'm having a wonderful time. And everybody that I've talked to is having a wonderful time. And um, yeah, make sure you leave a like on the video, hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos. Uh, actually, if you hit that bell icon, you can be entered into the YouTube lottery of notification systems. That's right, because you don't always get it. But if you do, you should feel special. <laughs> but yeah, thank you again for coming out. Also, we do have a Discord. We do have a Twitch, Twitter. All the social links are down below. So you can feel free to check those out. Yeah, thank you again for coming out. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.